Today I want to take up a topic called festivities and fun and how to put some of that into your practice to liven it up and get more patient client referrals and to make your day better. Hi, Janice Wheeler here. I'm the president of the Art of Management and today I thought I'd talk to you about putting a little fun into your practice. Mostly it's called holiday fun and festivities. So when you have a practice, it can be a boring place to go to work every day, or you can put some fun into it. Now, one of the things that we recommend for doing that is having a, a look at what cultural, ethnic, religious, holidays that you, your staff, your patients and clients actually take part in and look at what you could do to celebrate some of those. They can be a lot of fun because in Canada what I love is our diversity. You know, you may not be one religion but you might love how they celebrate. So have a celebration in your practice. Maybe 80% of your practice is a certain nationality. Find out what's important to them as far as holidays and festivities go. So there's a lot of opportunities uh, to celebrate something. And I'm gonna tell you honestly, um, we have found over the years, even with our own staff, that when you um, have something to look forward to that's going to be fun, it makes every day more interesting and you look more forward to coming into work because there's the anticipation of something fun coming up. If you just think about, like, if you plan a holiday going somewhere where you've never gone before, and it's very exciting, and it's gonna be like two months from now, you actually can get really into it and doing research online and having fun talking to people about it and so on, so that you're anticipating every day. So it gives you some extra um, pizzazz about the practice when you have something like that, that you're planning, that you're going to celebrate. Now, um, that means first thing you have to do is get rid of negative thoughts like, oh, bah humbug, you know, too much bother, um, you know, too much work, we're so busy, we can't take time to do that. Honestly, um, you know, we've come through a very long, bleak period uh, recently. Uh, with the pandemic and everything and it's time for people to come alive and have some fun again and start celebrating life because we, we all live through it and here we are and you know it's, so putting some joviality into the practice is a good word for you um, can be a very important part of your growth some good staff love that kind of thing bad staff they're like oh too much work oh it's too much bother are they really the correct people for your team? Really? When a patient comes in, are they going to see somebody who's like, oh, okay, we're so busy, and blah, blah, blah. Are they going to see somebody like having fun, who's looking forward to things, has something interesting to talk about with the patient or the client, and so on. So you actually want to make sure that your staff get on board with this. Um, now, one of the things you should do is have a planning session with your staff about this because uh, this is not for you to do all of it, and you're the big uh, idea person, <laughs> shall we say. Hey, let's celebrate some holidays, let's find out what's the most popular ones, whether our patients or our clients, you know, or your own staff or your own ethnic, um, which may be what your practice is comprised of anyway. So um, you want to have a planning session, so have a nice uh, either lunch together or something, somebody take notes, and you know, decide what uh, things are the most important that you want to put some energy and effort into. And um, and then you want to appoint somebody who's the events I see in charge. Who is going to be in charge of the events and make sure that everybody does their part. Now, make a calendar. And it can be things like, okay, um, I know on Valentine's Day and Easter, uh, we always do silly things uh, like having a jar full of uh, Hershey's Kisses. We did that one year, big jar. We, we got to eat them all afterwards too, which was phenomenal. But before they got eaten, we counted them and took a picture and we published it on our emails. And we gave a contest, a $100 
um, gift certificate to the winner of the contest, whoever got closest to the correct count. Uh, Easter egg, I think we bought some Easter egg baskets and a little stuffed bunny and, and wherever he hopped there was a trail of eggs behind him. <laughs> Like bunnies don't make eggs, so it's very funny. But anyway, the whole point was it was fun. Took a photo of it, and again, a basket full of, of eggs as well, and uh, had a guessing contest. So there's that kind. Then there's the kind, um, you know, Halloween. That's coming up um, right at the moment. So uh, costumes, what are you going to have? Are you going to give up, you know, sugar-free candy or some kind of thing that kids love to have? Um, you know, at the door of your practice, or as every person comes in today, they um, can have some fun with you and take away a treat. Um, there's uh, Christmas. I know that my staff love doing, they call it Kris Kringle. I have no idea what religion or anything that is, but it's just a celebration where we all share names. And there's an app online called Elfster, like elves, Elfster. And uh, on it, you put in everybody's name. Somebody has to look up how to do it, but one of my staff did it for the last couple of years. And we all get given a name and we all get to put up there what we wouldn't mind having as a gift under $25. And whoever got my name, they get to have secret access to my list. And that way I get something I might like to have as opposed to a throwaway. Anyways, it's a lot of fun, a lot of anticipation, a lot of joking, and, and um, you know, just fun for about two weeks beforehand. Uh, there's, um, you know, Christmas, obviously, depending on what religion you are and what nationality and so on, but there's different Christmas levels. Today I read that the Philippines are having Christmas right now. A friend of mine is a performer and he goes there a lot and is very much part of their culture and uh, he was uh, holding up a Christmas ornament on Facebook this morning when I went through my pictures and, and he said, yeah, you might not know this, but in the Philippines it's Christmas right now. So, okay, fine. So there you go. If you have a practice that's largely Filipino, then that would be the perfect thing to do. You know what I mean? So, you know, just look at what you can do to um, celebrate important holidays anyway. Um, all right, you can also plan other kinds of celebrations, like uh, you can have, if we hit a certain goal, we'll go out and have dinner, or like, because for the practice, you could set goals, and uh, if you achieve them, like, it should be celebratory. Um, Christmas dinner, we had that where everybody brought something special uh, to, we, there was a bit of organization on, by somebody who was in charge as to what kind of things to bring like so we didn't get you know 10 meat platters and three desserts or something you know we had we had to work it out who brought what but it, it was fun and everybody made something special uh, that was fun and we planned that for a week or two in advance and then um, there's family picnics in summertime that you can plan and what kind of activities and sports are you going to play at the at the picnic and that sort of thing, and you can invite all the patients of the practice. I know one of my clients every year, um, he's an orthodontist, he used to rent a, a recreation center in the area and have access to it all day. Um, I don't know whether it was a Saturday or a Sunday, but I did see a lot of pictures of it um, one of the years, and they had contests and water sports and, and made sure that everybody won a prize for something by the end of the day and it was adults and kids and neighbors of patients <laughs> it didn't have to be a patient of the practice they just had a blast so that's another one and then my favorite favorite last one i'm just gonna say is um have a for no reason whatsoever potluck dinner like okay this friday let's just celebrate because there isn't any holiday coming up soon and so we just had a for no reason whatsoever potluck dinner. So there you go. There's many, many opportunities to celebrate and to make it fun, to put some anticipation into your future uh, that you're looking forward to and to put some fun into the practice because I have to tell you, patients refer when they come into practices that are fun to be in, where it's lively, where people are upbeat. And when practices are very quiet and solemn and, you know, like just get on with getting the business done, 
um, that's not encouraging to people to refer and tell their friends and family about you. So you need to make sure that your practice is someplace that your patients and clients would love to refer people to. So there you go. If you like this today, give me a share, give me a like, and share this with your friends, and uh, watch for more uh, videos because we actually have a channel, if you haven't seen it already, and there are many, many different topics that we have videos on. So enjoy, and see you next time. Bye for now.